welcome everybody. This is the Renew View. Thanks so much for watching. I'm your host, Jewel Peterson, and these are the lovely ladies of the view. Yes. Uh, yes, we are back and so, so excited to be able to share with you the word of God. And if you've never watched this, I don't know if you've ever even seen a show. Shame on like you. This one. Just <laughs> you should go you should just see this show. Well, it's simply an opportunity to share the word of God and the word that's having a positive Amen. impact that's that's right. in that's our right. lives. And so before we get started, I first want to tell you where we are. We're mm -hmm. located in Marietta, Georgia, and you can see the address there on our screen and we want to invite you out mm -hmm. to our church you can oh, see the, yes yes you can see the times right there our bible study mm -hmm. our sunday school and mm -hmm. also our church service all those times are listed right there we want to see you yes here. right yeah. Yeah. So also, yeah definitely and if you can't make it of course stay updated uh, with our social media outlets so mm -hmm. from facebook facebook uh, to, mm -hmm. uh, to our podcast uh, to our twitter our podcast, you definitely don't want yes, to miss that's those. right. Uh, we podcast update those awesome. weekly, and yes, and it's your opportunity. And I know we've been taking advantage yeah. of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. To the word over and over and over Man. again. And it's nothing like that opportunity to be able to hear it at the drop of a dime. Yeah. That's right. Morning that's and right. evening, uh, be able to reach and to hear that word and have your life changed every mm -hmm. single Amen. time. So Amen. we invite you to do that as well. Well, are we ready to get into this? Yes, yes we yes. are. Well, all right, we're great. But we're going to first start with our hot topic. And we always uh, have a hot topic because obviously there's so many different things going on in this world. And mm -hmm. the media mm -hmm. always has its Amen. own spin. That's but it's true. an opportunity for us to give the godly perspective mm -hmm. on Amen. what's going on. And, and this is a, a story that many people probably already know about. It's the one out of New York mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. where the church, uh, church members, uh, including uh, parents of two teens uh, one uh, beat the teens one was beaten and one was actually killed yeah. mm -hmm. uh, all of this after one decided that they wanted to leave the church mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the parents were arrested uh, admitted what was going on mm -hmm. and so now we're watching this whole thing unfold mm -hmm. yes. and um, you know I, when I saw the story I was saddened by the whole thing mm -hmm. but I also thought it was just another attempt of the enemy to try to just uh, to face the church, um, oh, yeah. you know, and just oh, yeah. to bring a, a negative uh, perspective of it. You know, when you look at that, it, it makes people go, hmm, well, why would I want to be a Christian when you all operate like that? And that's yeah, but always the, mm -hmm. But the people the say that, the people say that, that's a lot of things and a whole lot of the religions. I mean, mm -hmm. there's people in, who don't believe in God that do crazy things. So yeah. it's not just how I own Christianity. It's unfortunate that, the, that this did happen in a church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. that's a sad part about it. Um, but in Christianity, you have you have, like I said, some good and bad people who take the book and choose to to distort it for their own purposes. Mm -hmm. Our pastor teaches about that, about oh, how yeah. you yeah. twist yes. yeah. the word of God to make it be something that is not, and how and how you can take the word of God to assert control over people's lives. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, neither them, neither that is right. Yeah, that's um, right. And I, I I'm grateful that I go to a church one. That push you not to idolize the leader, yes. but to know Jesus. Jesus. Yes. 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 And I think yes. a lot of times in this church, you can hold fast to what a preacher or pastor say without knowing what God mm -hmm. wants for your life. That's mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So I'm grateful that I pastor here in the worship center. Shout out to Pastor Taliba Durham, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. who encouraged us to see God first. Yes. That's right. Yes. And um, she don't put herself on a pedestal by no means. No, that's and, right. Um, we can appreciate that in the pastor. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. We can appreciate the truth of the word of God because what yeah. I think is so interesting about this is I'm sure that all the people involved in this are thinking that they're doing what is right. Yeah. That's right. And oftentimes when you find yourself in a situation or even yeah. in a church where it seems like everything is right but you don't know the truth, it's like you can go astray. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's good to be able to, it's, I mean, of course it's a sad thing that's happened to these boys and to these people in this church, but what it shows you is that you need to know the truth of the yeah. message of Christ right. and not just what anybody tells you. Because yeah. I've been in a church where it's easy to just take one aspect of the Bible and drill that, like make it your works and exactly. you get into God and yeah. it be somewhere completely different Amen. here in the worship center yes. <laughs> <laughs> where we learn about the truth and Amen. the message of Christ and really why he yeah. died for us and really yeah. what his purpose is and so Amen. this family this small church I mean well, I don't know how well they say it's a, made up of a family of five yeah. I mean five yeah. families yeah. make up this right. church and so it's just you know going off the line like that is I mean I can't keep talking forever I, I could but <laughs> I mean it's a, it's a point I mean I agree with you Gabrielle I think it's a point because the world don't think what the world wants to think we're not, mm -hmm. they're not right. talking to them right now mm -hmm. yeah. you know but for those of the Christians who are watching this show to me it's it can appear maybe be scared to know who to trust. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's right. And then you have the other opposite of the stream saying, you know, that's you can't trust nobody. <laughs> yeah. right. And those people don't even go to church, but they yeah. profess Christianity. 
Uh, I think, you know, pastors challenging all of us not to be lazy in our thinking. Yes. Mm -hmm. That don't just hold on to the status quo because because you're comfortable in it. Mm -hmm. And don't be so, um, don't be lazy in seeking out the truth in the word of God yourself. Yes. yes. You know? That, that by itself is something that I, I esteem pastors so much for, for doing that. Mm -hmm. It's for saying, read the Bible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, if, if, if this is something. Give a scripture. Yeah. yeah. You know, make sure that, that what is being done is through and, and it is the word mm -hmm. of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, that she's able to give us that and give us that without anything else attached yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. And I seek and awesome. seek and seek God. Yeah, I mean that's exactly. what the past been telling us is that seek God. I think a lot of people get so hung up and have an opinion about something. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. How many people are hung up on getting God's opinion about something? Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I think it's, the body of Christ is lacking. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly. why I'm sorry I took my own pastor's horn. <laughs> Be <Between. laughs> <Between. laughs> <Between. laughs> <Between. laughs> <Between. laughs> All other sounds. Because um because when it does it challenge you to see God's perspective on the situation mm -hmm. and not just you That's being right. wise in your own opinion. Yeah. And I think um I think it's important with every Christian to see God what is that you want from my life instead of looking at an outside situation and making a judgment call on that. Because mm -hmm. I don't know what happened in that case right there. To me, exactly. it's, it's sad that someone had to die in the Christian church. To me, it's, it, it's, it's, it's wrong someone to die in the church that way. Yeah. Right. But, yeah. to but you know, don't be wise and opinion about what you think is right and wrong all the mm -hmm. time before you even got a chance to see God about matter. So that's my mm -hmm. opinion on it. Yeah, and what we see each week is that the gospel in its purest form. Yeah. 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 We see that each and every week. Like, every time you come to church, it's like, mm -hmm. this is the same. This, 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 this gospel you keep preaching to us. God, please. You make me feel so good on the inside. Yeah. I'm so convicted. So, you know, you don't have to, like, get lost. In, I mean, I, I really feel like Jesus, the Holy Spirit, God, they all mm. do such a great job. Like, it's <laughs> so easy for us to understand what it is they want, like, what it is God wants for yeah. us, you know. Yeah. And it's just, you know, sad to see people go astray when they don't have to. They don't yeah. have to. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. you doing this because you really a part of you wants to be fed by yeah. this the sick part of it. It's like man, you have to do that, man. Yeah, God is right. good. You have to do that. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. nobody, you know, nobody, you know, the best they see is Jesus. We repent, <laughs> you know? yeah. but we can all live in yeah. Christ. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah. so that's the part of it that's really to me. You know, it's really sad. And but even at this church, and you know, we could challenge every church. You that's know, right. the message of the. Uh, what do you preach at your church? <laughs> people in the back room hitting people upside the head talking about uh, talk to me. Uh, yeah, no. it's, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. again, looking at how Christ did it, you know, sometimes we get so caught up in the hoopla. Yes, yeah. you know, when it comes down to the Word of God and mm -hmm. it comes down to a minister telling or, or preaching the gospel, and if it's not the true gospel, you know. Look, look, read, read the Bible read for yourself. Yes. Read the Bible for yourself. Yeah. You know, a lot of people walk into churches, they're hurt, they're distraught, mm -hmm. they're, you know, they're in need of healing. But don't let your current situation keep you from reading the true word of yeah, God. That's right. Because yeah. that's the only thing that's going to be able to protect you mm -hmm. in times like that. Mm -hmm. you know? That's right. Amen. Amen. And Amen. I think that truth keeps you from being ignorant. Like that the truth of who God is and the true, sincere gospel the true sincere milk of the word it keeps you from being ignorant of what's really going on yeah. and what's yeah. really from the spirit of god and what's not yeah. so um just like everybody's been saying i think we really have to get to a place to where truth is truth yeah and get to know god's word and stand on the truth you yeah. know what i mean yeah and i think too for me a lot of what i got from that story was just this heavy spirit of condemnation and it's totally opposite of what you get here. Wow. We totally get a feeling of freedom, yeah. a feeling mm -hmm. of safety, mm -hmm. where there you you could be scared to say it wrong, but you you're encouraged by our pastor That's to right. say it anyway. Mm -hmm. And yeah. then she'll tell you, she'll correct you, and help you to understand yeah. it. But then she'll say, but you need to also look at that word <laughs> to see if that's right. <laughs> that's right. It lines up with yeah. what I'm saying with, and with with what God is saying to yeah. you as that's well. Yeah. So that's why I always love about where we are. There's yes. a sense of safety, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done, no matter how you feel. She'll tell you a second if you feel like you don't need to be here. Bless you, and you can go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's freedom to that point to yeah, where you exactly. are blessed, even in your decision if you yeah, decide man. to leave. That's, exactly. that's, where, that's where you want to be. Yeah. That's yeah. right. That's like right. That. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Amen. So let's let's transition into the real world. Yeah, let's transition into talking about that word that.
and we are getting here. Yes. Yes. yes, and right now we're looking at Genesis, and we're looking at Genesis 22, 15 through 19, mm -hmm. where we're, our pastor has been highlighting the story, the story of Abraham, mm -hmm. and how he took Isaac up on the mountain after mm -hmm. God told him to sacrifice him, mm -hmm. and really highlighting his obedience and the That's beauty right. in it. Mm -hmm. And it's been freeing for me because often when we hear obedience, you you feel restricted. You feel That's like, right. I can't do this. I can't do that. If I do this, I'm going to die. If I do this. <laughs> But the beauty in it, she's been showing us that one, obedience is important no matter what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not only going to bless you, yeah, that's right. but it's going to bless others. Yes. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's been awesome. I, mean, I like, the, I like the, how Pastor uh, display obedience about being kept under guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'd be like, I'll yeah. be kept under guard. I need to be free. <laughs> 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 um, I like how she, I like how she explained it where um, being, uh, kept, being kept under guard is not a prison as much as it's about safety. Yes. That's right. And how right. when you when you do something that's bad, you should feel wrong. So, you that's know, right. this is not this outside the boundaries. You are not in a safe place. Outside. Right. That's, that's right. right. That's right. Because yeah. outside this place, there are things that your action can cause where you're not ready to prepare, you know, prepare some of those consequences. Mm -hmm. you, know, you think you have this freedom to go outside this this protection of God. That's right. Yeah. And you go out there and be upside the head by Satan by your own actions. Mm -hmm. So I like the fact that she said that being kept under guard protects you. Yes. And, I, and I enjoy that part about the message about obedience because to me, God is about, to me, God's about freedom. Mm -hmm. He really is. Mm -hmm. And that everything that God does for us, I've had to say because of his love for us. Mm -hmm. yeah. right. And that he don't want to restrict you from the sake of restricting you by all <laughs> That's means. right. That's yeah. right. But he does know when we're immature. Mm -hmm. That's right. And the law, you know, and Pat said about how the law at that time, it was for, it's a tutor. To That's us. right. They're saying, okay, this is learn from this, so that when God gives you command, or when faith comes, you don't need this tutor anymore. Yeah. Because That's outside right. the boundaries, I, I, not boundaries, but outside, you don't need something to hold you back anymore because God mm -hmm. is in you. That's mm -hmm. right. And you can, you know, be free. So I enjoy that aspect about the message. I really did. Yeah. That's right. I, I enjoy the message because I feel hope in that message. Yeah. Because yeah. there's oftentimes, like you said, you're, there are things that you're dealing with that you feel powerless. Yeah. And in our others, in during this series, she's been talking about crying out to God, help yeah. me, help mm -hmm. me with this, help yes. me with this. And one of the ways she's saying that we do that after we're saying that is obedience. And yes. I love how the fact that basically what she's saying that if you do obey, there is hope in doing that. Yes. There is a hope in that once you, if you continue to obey, continue to obey, then your heart starts to change. Yes. You start mm -hmm. to get the character of God. You do. And you do. then it's not that I just, it's not so much I can't, I can't, but it becomes... I don't want to. Don't want to. I don't want it's to. just exactly. not a part of who I yeah. am. And when we think about even, I'm even thinking about now the testimonies we've been hearing in our oh, church, yeah. particularly with oh, yeah. our, our dear sister Harmony, mm -hmm. and how she was talking about how she was delivered from cigarettes. Man, and, oh um, wow! She yeah. was like, awesome. I tried so hard. Awesome. I tried so hard. I tried, and you could see like in her face, yes. and it was a struggle that we all knew about. Yeah. And she talked about how God helped her, but it all and it all. It all started with, well, during that process, she had to obey just one single act of obedience, yeah. and it was like a ripple mm -hmm. effect, yeah. Yeah. which led her to deliverance. Yeah. And it was, right. really it was awesome. awesome. Yes, awesome. Story. Well, I really like, when Pastor talked about Abraham and Isaac, yeah. I really <laughs> like how you can see the character of God throughout the whole yeah. life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yes. like each time when it, when we get a story yeah. or a narrative from the from, from the Bible, I'm like, God, you was all up in that. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, like, you know, until she explains it, I'm like, Wow. So when she talks about Abraham and Isaac going up to the mountain, um, and she talks about not just Abraham's obedience but also Isaac's obedience, yeah. I'm like, that's, that's, right. a, that's really awesome yeah. because yeah. oftentimes we pick, you know, Abraham. we pick exactly. Uh, Abraham was obedient. Isaac right. was obedient for that. Exactly. Yeah. Going up to yeah. the mountain and all yeah. she talked about the wood mm -hmm. itself representing the iniquity. Yeah. 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 You know, with saying, hey, it's not because sometimes we'll turn around and with iniquity. We'll turn around and we'll think, well, it's not in the Bible say that I can't smoke yeah. cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, like, it's not That's in the exactly Bible right. say I have to do it this way. Mm -hmm. But you know that iniquity keeps us from the being the the character of God, mm -hmm. from yeah. taking on the character of God. And anything that's going to take me from the character of God mm -hmm. is somewhere where I don't want to be. You want to be, a Christian. Yes. Yes. You know, so that in itself challenges and, mm -hmm. it, and it ignites that hope and that mm -hmm. drive mm -hmm. of wanting to be like Christ yeah, exactly. yes. constantly. Mm -hmm. You know, so being able to take our wood, put it on our back, and mm -hmm. say, I believe Pastor made uh, the comment of, let's just say something bad did happen. Mm -hmm. Are you saying that now that you don't deserve? You're so great of a person mm -hmm. until now this bad thing that happened to me, I'm just 
crying out because of this. No, Amen. God is greater than that. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. His grace is sufficient. I, I love Him. Amen. I want to take on this character of Christ, you Amen. know, so walking with that. And him being able to take that up the mountain, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. was awesome. Yes, I mm -hmm. think, uh, and this is, what, this is what Pastor Message has really been kind of hitting home, is that people are so caught up in what I can't do, what I can't do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Like, you know, it's not a sin in the Bible, somebody, okay, or God, can I do this? Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a sin, so mm -hmm. it must be <laughs> okay. okay. Exactly. Yeah. And you negate the work of the Holy Spirit in your heart that, that's even working on that iniquity part of you. Because some part of you saying this is not quite right. right. Exactly. <laughs> and for you to ask the question, you know already that's not quite right. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that, you know, that pastor preacher message that once you notice that, Instead of making excuses for it, mm -hmm. say, God, deal yes. with this part of me yes. that yes. wants to deal with, to want to do this that's not quite who you are. Because mm -hmm. not just about outside sin, those behavior modifications, about God creating a new man in us. That's right. And, I, and the Jesus series is kind of just blowing me away. Yes. Yes. Because it, it makes the standard up here. Yes. Yeah. And not down here. Yeah. And um, any true believer and son of God wants to be so much like Christ. Yes. Mm -hmm. Where they're the point where Isaac, when he would bear his iniquity, would be willing to say, God, even this part of my heart is not lying up to you. Right. And be willing to, to bear that before God, holy God, and say, God, whatever you need to do in me, do it in me. Yeah. That's so right. And I thought that was really awesome messages. Mm -hmm. I'm trying now, because it reminds me of a message Pastor preached a long time ago. You remember um, the Pastor says that as a Christian, we should never put, I love God, but. Yes, mm -hmm. that is an indication that you know. <laughs> It should never be, I love God in a but. Yeah. Yeah. It should be, I love God and. And, and that's and right. And the point with a Christian that we're not so caught up in, thou shalt not. So like mm -hmm. Pastor said, we should be to thou shalt. That's yeah. right. Like thou shalt preach to the nation, thou shalt lay hands on the sick. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're so caught up in the thou shalt not. That's yeah. <laughs> right. You know, I'm yes. just ready for us to, as a body of Christ for myself, to grow from thou shalt not, not to thou shalt. Yes. Yes. And that comes after one, be obedient. Yes. That's right. And I really like the fact of when she talked about Abraham and the two things can be true, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like how God told Abraham, I promised you this seed, right? That's right. And I told him, okay, you need to go take him up to the mountain and sacrifice yeah. him. And so Abraham was like, well, I guess you're going to resurrect him. <laughs> And I really, really, really like that because mm -hmm. oftentimes when you're in situations and you do feel like God spoke something to you and then you hear something else that is seemingly contrary, yeah. Yeah. you always want to make it fit. Like, you got to get rid of one of them. Right. Either yeah. I didn't hear God in the beginning or the second thing is not God. Yeah, right. Both of these things cannot happen. And I find myself mm -hmm. often always challenged with that. Like, God, you said this, but ain't none of this working out, so none of this must be you. Amen. You know, because we always want to make God fit into what's reasonable with us or what our minds can understand Amen. or what we can comprehend and mm -hmm. what makes the most sense. Amen. And if nothing makes sense, then you're like, well, God, I guess it's not you. But pastors are like, no, you need to enjoy the journey. Amen. You need to know yeah, that if exactly. God spoke both things, yeah. then that doesn't mean that one is not, it's no longer, it's void. Yeah. It mm -hmm. just means that you don't know the, the whole plan. You just yeah. need to be obedient. <laughs> <laughs> All you need to do is he told you to go here, you need to go there. And God, God wants exactly. to feel it. You know, Pastor mentioned mm -hmm. The whole Abraham and Isaac, how both were true. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. But how when you get to the mountain of the Lord, how she said the Lord should see two, two which is the proper name yes. for Jehovah Jara, exactly. is that the God is make provision to, to fulfill that command that seemed like it doesn't agree. Mm -hmm. yes. The God is waiting to provide those things. Mm -hmm. And Gabriel, you was much nicer about our hearts than I was. So like God, <laughs> it's not that I don't hear both of them. It's like I don't want to do both of them. <laughs> <laughs> talking to about his perspective mm -hmm. and just how he was able to see he had a greater vision mm -hmm. of what was going on and she was challenging us not to look at it like you said not to try to fit it into mm -hmm. what we believe mm -hmm. but to but was challenging us to see it the way God sees mm -hmm. That's the yeah. American way and then yeah. it was like um Isaac being the promise but yeah. through Isaac mm -hmm. the promises mm -hmm. promises yeah, yeah. yeah. the yes. promises mm -hmm. so you know sometimes we look at things and say well God is going to do this so you know, that, that, like, well, God's gonna heal me because number one, 
this testimony that I'm going to have is also mm -hmm. going to ignite hope in others. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, so going about it that way because we're seeking first the kingdom of mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. you know, and letting everything else be added unto. Yeah. Yeah. And I love that. I love how you, the um, she talked about how you are a blessing. Like, you, your obedience is a blessing to someone else. Yes. Yeah. And so, yeah. Abraham, he wasn't so much caught up on the fact that, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be obedient for the sake of me just being obedient, mm -hmm. but this obedience it will affect a whole nation yes. of people what God yes. promised. So I think I love how I love how um she said that. So that yeah. was really good. God yeah. God he got God got tunnel vision like that. He wanna bless a lot of folks. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. in, the, in, the, in the and in the beginning of it when he's asking you to do something, I always go back to the back surgery because even now I, I still get to share my story or I yeah. still have people saying to me, I just they see me running or see me Man. sprinting or lifting mm -hmm. or Man. working out and they go I still can't believe Man. and that part where they say they still can't believe is an opportunity for me to say but you should yes. Yes. because he's, yes. so real. he's so real yeah. he won't lie because he won't take you down a wrong path Man. because even when it feels tough in the beginning and you don't see because yes. I remember even sharing, sharing with my sister the other day how in the beginning of that I kept saying I don't think I can go any further with this mm -hmm. I don't see how I can I don't see an end yeah. to this and mm -hmm. I don't even see how I could get through to another day and I remember mm -hmm. asking pastor like am I gonna have to have surgery if I have surgery that would be the worst thing that would be mm -hmm. and she kept challenging me to just keep obeying what did he say mm -hmm. to do next mm -hmm. what did he say to do next and I always I say now and I keep saying it it was the greatest thing that could have happened mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. it was the hardest it was the most physically challenging mm -hmm. but it has been the greatest thing in the relationship of knowing him that way and then being able to tell people oh you should believe mm -hmm. yeah. because he can do the impossible yeah, yeah. Amen. yeah. it's, it's, it's like awesome. pastor said and, I, and it's fun because I was I was sharing with you guys earlier how you know pastor in his message mentioned the poverty mindset I'm like, how do they apply to this this message? <laughs> how does money apply to you know, how does money apply to this message? You know what I'm talking about? But uh, spirit poverty is not just about money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about holding on to something that you don't think God can replace. Mm -hmm. yeah. exactly. And like your surgery or even our lives with our jobs or even with families or even when it comes to just decisions or control of your life. Like God, you know, you're asking me to do this, mm -hmm. commanding <laughs> <laughs> me to do this. And sometimes you're afraid. Mm -hmm. To obey God, to believe that He's taking something from you, mm -hmm. yes. something that you can't That's get, you can't, mm -hmm. and and, and, right. and pass it by the Spirit. God is breaking that spirit of poverty in this church. So yes. that in that God's requesting of you, mm -hmm. He's going to replace it with something greater. Yeah, yes. you're not losing anything. And what's the? I guess to me like this: even if you do lose your life, yeah, the Bible says you'll find it. That's right. <laughs> you'll, find you'll find your life. That's right. You know? That's right. And, um, I think Pastor is always, you know, I, I love Pastor because when I come through these doors. My mind is always shifted towards eternity. I've got mm -hmm. yes. this name right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get it right. If I'm going to be faithful come Wednesday night, Sunday night. <laughs> eventually, I'm yeah. going to get this name it's right. Gonna yeah. Yeah. It's going to stick. stick. And I guess it's important that, because you might get it right the first time. Mm -hmm. But um, like I said, the simple SOB is like, you know, we all been saying, Pastor been saying, like, just be faithful just to find a church home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come to a church that your mind is constantly renewed on things of God, things that last for eternity. Yeah. That's right. Because really it's about the Jesus series. <laughs> <laughs> Every series is about the Jesus, Jesus. series. <laughs> Everything's about Jesus. Amen. Amen. But it's it's awesome. To, it's it's a scary, exciting ride. Yes, it yeah. is. But it's no greater ride. Nevertheless. That's right. Yeah. That's sure. right. And I just want, I'm just, I'm excited about what God would do in our lives and your lives as as we become more obedient to his call and just mm -hmm. just do what he says do yeah. and it seems so hard I me mean, so yes. easy so easy but we all know we all know, <laughs> we all know. We all know. We just, it gets hard in the heart yeah it not does. in what we hear not what we know that's true I, I i really 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 love this message because it's challenged me she's also been talking about our identity yeah and mm -hmm. our finding our identity in him and i love what you were saying about how we have been challenged with giving up those things that yeah. We just hold so close and so dear mm -hmm. and thinking that we're going to lose yeah. you know, mm -hmm. somehow our lives are going to be worsened mm -hmm. by it but i have found that with everything that god has challenged me to do with everything mm -hmm. he's challenged me to 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 let go of in the beginning it was super hard mm -hmm. but then afterwards i felt so yeah. glad yeah. Yeah. That yeah. That yeah. So that's why you like, say you gotta be yeah. obedient until yeah. faith comes yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 it's like yes where's this faith jesus i'll take this what's up in the Told me to do it more, but I need you to kick in here. Yeah. I need no. you. And yes. that's what they pass them out now. Pastor, you also know the message, of course, Sunday, <laughs> uh, about the whole obedience leading to the whole um, 
the rest yeah, thing. That's yeah. about rest towards the end. But she yeah. didn't get a chance to finish. So passing that Sunday is going to pop it. Yes. <laughs> so we need to be more complete in this, in this, in this message. But, how, but I can see where she was going with the whole beat is, the whole beat is in rest thing. Yes. Because, you know, a lot of us, this this whole world is seeking for rest. Yes. That's right. We take vacation to get rest. Yes. We take you take time off, get sleep to get rest. Apparently, we work more so that we can get rest. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Everybody, everybody wants rest. Yes. And, uh, and Pastor and Pastor Benza said that the key to rest is being obedient. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. And, yeah. she, and she challenged us. She challenged us. Yeah. She challenged yes. us to do that. For yeah. seven, days. Seven, seven, seven days. Seven days. Seven whole days. Seven whole days. Seven whole day. She said she wants us oh, to really 100%. focus on being obedient. One hundred percent. One hundred. Yes. Being obedient to, yes. to whatever God is telling yes. you to do. 100%. On the inside and on the outside. On the inside. Yeah. 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 Yeah.